To start with, Israel Folau's mother and father are from Tonga, where well over 95% of people are Christian. He belongs to a Pentecostal church, which teaches the Bible is 100% true. When Rugby Australia backed gay marriage in 2017, he dissented, saying, I love and respect all people for who they are, but personally, I will not support gay marriage. When asked on Instagram what God's plan for homosexuals was, Falau replied, hell, unless they repent of their sins and turn to God. His team's chief sponsor, Qantas Airlines, wasn't having it. Led by Alan Joyce, a gay businessman who donated a million dollars to the pro-gay marriage campaign, Qantas condemned Falau's comments. But Rugby Australia, led by Raylene Castle, refused to punish him. Almost exactly a year on, another Instagram post. A list of sinners including homosexuals. But this time, Rugby Australia did turn on him. We're here to announce that Wallabies and Waratahs player Israel Flau has today been issued a sanction directing termination of his playing contract for his high-level breach of the professional player's code of conduct. 30-year-old Falau could have saved his $4 million contract and his career, but he refused to take down his post on principle. And he says in the world that what shall a prophet a man if he gains the whole world, but he loses himself?